Yo, what's going on, everybody? You've seen it on screen, you've seen the title, and you've seen the thumbnail. Today, we're going to be talking about how Activision just killed Call of Duty. Now, don't take this, um, I guess, too seriously. It, I am exaggerating the title. But, yeah, Activision just made a really bad move for um, Black Ops 5 or Call of 2020, to see the least. But before we do get into this video, uh, go follow the Team Vice on screen right now. And uh, yeah, with that being said, let's just get right into this video. Now, you know how I normally read my the Charlie Intel articles I find at the end of the video? This one's pretty short, so I will throw a timestamp up on screen right now to when this is done here. And yeah, Black Ops 4 servers have been tanked. I'm, I'm assuming it's Activision who did it because, uh, well, if Modern Warfare servers are awful, we gotta tank Black Ops 4 because more people are playing that game now because it's a playable Call of Duty game. But whatever. So it says Activision confirms Call of Duty 2020 is still set to release this fall. Which is the stupidest thing ever. And there are like some concerns and discussion about the possibility of the game being delayed due to the impact of, you know what? Can't say that on YouTube, but it looks like the company is still trying to deliver new Call of Duty this fall. Blah 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 blah. Yeah. It's it, they're saying that the game already looks great is in and is on track for release later this year gee i wonder where i've heard that before activision remember when you thought modern warfare looked great you know how you still think modern warfare looks great with your skill-based matchmaking system i wonder where i've heard this a million times before in the most recent call of duty games and how they've all launched terribly huh I wonder where I've heard that before. And I have a whole video on this. On how the other gods have launched terribly. But the Activision seems to think. Oh yeah man they're ready to go bro. World War 2 is definitely ready to go with 9 maps. Like. <laughs> you gotta be joking right. Activision. This is a prank bro. But nope. No joke here. Man unless Charles Intel is lying here. But. To be honest, I wouldn't mind playing Black Ops 4 until the winter or heck, even the spring if it took that long for them to get COD 2020 out. Please don't rush it, Activision. There's no point in doing that. Just don't rush the game out when it doesn't need to be. Because we don't want to kill the franchise, man. I like this game. I like this franchise. I've been playing it for a long time. Please don't kill it on me. <laughs> You can see there I'm level 306 on Black Ops 4 and I'm probably going to get to level 1000 because Modern Warfare is trash because of Activision, but we're not here to completely bash on Activision for the whole game for the whole uh, video here. Nonetheless, Activision decides that oh yes, Call of Duty is ready to go this fall. You know, devs working from home all the other nonsense and just stuff like that you know oh yeah we know our devs are working from home we know they're not in the studio right now and that so we know the servers probably aren't even going to be optimized and this and that and there's going to be a million different problems but don't worry the game's still ready to go it can't be worse than call of duty world war 2 right wrong it probably will be because knowing that knowing activision they're going to be like whoa money with your soul bell and had skill-based matchmaking in it <gasps> What if we put that in Black Ops 5 or Call of Duty 2020? That that's a great idea. You know the game already. You know the game's gonna launch with three maps and a million different bugs and terrible servers. Let's put in skill-based matchmaking to make the servers even more terrible, like we have done with Modern Warfare, and then act like everything's hum hunky day. You know, all good. Yeah, man, let's do that. Like, no, no, don't release the game this fall. How hard is it? To how hard is that to get around your head, Activision? It's a stupid idea. Don't do it. Don't kill the franchise. Don't kill the next Call of Duty game by releasing it. And when we play the beta, we're going to realize there's only one map in the beta. And then we're going to be scratching our heads like, why, why is this game supposed to be ready? We're going to have three total launch maps. And then even in and then one or three total launch maps, there's going to be like, you can just jump and then bam, you're on top of the map at some random corner. You can just strafe jump into a corner and then boom, you're on top of the map barrier. It's going to be something stupid like that with this game releasing in the fall. We don't need that, man. Like, seriously, 
out of all the bad CODs we've gotten and the bad decisions Activision's made, we don't need a COD to launch unfinished again, man. Can we just launch a finished Call of Duty game that doesn't need 97 patches later? Like, Modern Warfare is a huge game right now. And I'm not saying numbers-wise and player count huge game. No, it's a huge game in the fact that it is nearly 200 gigabits on my console. That's how many fixes you've had to make to this game. Black Ops 4 doesn't even have that many gigabits in the game. So, if we launch this newest Call of Duty game in the fall, what do you think is going to happen? Like, what do you think is actually going to happen to this newest Call of Duty game? It's going to be terrible, right? Common sense. But Activision seems to not have brain cells. Or any left after they're like, Go be threat making! Let's whack each other on the head with bats! Like, <laughs> I honestly don't know what they're doing. They just like smashing each other's foreheads in with baseball bats and like, This is how we get our ideas for Call of Duty! <sighs> I, I just don't, I don't understand Activision ever, man. They have yet to make a good decision. And I've made a whole video about this. But why? Why are we releasing this newest Call of Duty in 2020 and in the fall? Wait a year. I'll play Black Ops 4 for another year and get to level 1000 and get all the DLC guns Dark Matter. I would rather do that. Please. <laughs> Is it that hard, man? I would rather just wait a year. To be completely honest with you, I'd rather just wait a year for the game to come out. I'd play Black Ops 4 for another year if you delayed it. I mean, you already threw Treyarch in. And let's not even forget that they threw Treyarch into this project when this is supposed to be Sledgehammer's game. And they just threw this shit at Treyarch and just like, here you go, man, have fun. Like, what? Bro, I don't get it. What is the reasoning for this stupid decision making? You know, whatever, man. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, turn on those post notifications, follow the team Vice. Again, please just do it, man. They're lit, bro, and they make great sniping montages if you're into that. And uh, yeah, with that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I'm running out of time for gameplay here, and I will see you guys all later. Have a great Monday, everybody. Have fun with your online work if you still have it. <laughs> Peace.